Hey everyone, it's Adam Moody with the Productivity Academy and today I've got a great update for you. I wrote about this uh, both on Facebook and on the blog um, back, man, that was back before Christmas, but uh, been busy just like everyone else and wanted to get this video to you though to show you a little bit of the updates with TriShift or if you know it, it's just generally called Shift, but you can find it at TriShift.com. Now this has been really interesting and I, I love this on the videos. Uh, I get a lot of comments on the last update video I created about this. Uh, and so I'm enjoying this because some people are uh, really for this and love this type of workflow and some people are definitely not. So I'm gonna start out this video by saying, if you like this, say something, let me know. If you don't like this, say something, but also let me know why. Um, I think that that's interesting too because then that helps kind of guide people in the right direction in the future. All right, so to give you a little bit of a background, if you're not familiar uh, with Shift, it's a great way to tie all of your, um, you know, all of your uh, workflow processes, your web tabs, whatever it is, into one. And as I start to stutter there, I realize I could just read what they have, right? They know. Add your favorite apps and extensions to Shift, and you have it in one place. Now, there's uh, some really great benefits to this. Of course, obviously, you get everything into one place. And with this update, they're now uh, at Shift 4.0. They've added uh, some great things that make it um, a little bit more um, workflow friendly, I'll call it. And I'm gonna go into some details there, but if this sounds good to you, uh, let's just dive right into that. Okay, so what you can see right here is shift, right? This is, um, I've got it full screened, so you can see it all. You can see inside of uh, my Trello account here. Uh, but primarily what we see up here is communication, right? We have um, different email accounts got my personal email account, I've got my productivity account, um, whoops, sorry, the third account, this is the productivity account, and you can quickly switch between those, and you're thinking, okay, that's neat, but what this is cool, and what they've done is uh, to have these focused web tabs, all right, and so it's, when you click on something, for example, I'm just going to click on the link in this email, it pops open, and this is great, This, but this only pertains right to this email, so maybe it has to do with something I'm personally interested in reading, but when I'm dealing with Productivity Academy emails, I don't want to see it. And you no longer see it up there. So to me, I find that to be uh, really handy and it helps kind of within this idea of having everything together, it also keeps your workflow separated. And just for those of you who are not uh, as uh, familiar with this, you can see your associated services. Since I'm signed into a Gmail account, of course I have the email, I have calendar, I have drive, um, and then the other Google services. Now, over here on the left, you'll, uh, those of you who are familiar or have seen Shift, you can add in a ton of applications, all right? And it just keeps growing and growing. I'm not going to go through this. You can go to their website and check this out. It has gotten ridiculous in a good way. I mean, I, I don't know. I can't imagine that there isn't something here. Um, all the big ones that you think are there, like I've got uh, Slack, WhatsApp, Web, Trello, uh, Facebook Business Account, Notion, Twitter, um, just a few things that you could have in here. So like featured is Buffer, Canva, Duolingo, Instagram, all sorts of cool stuff. So let's show a little bit of that. So like WhatsApp Web, we're used to seeing this. this is really nice. I personally like this so that you can have all your communication uh, in one area as well as Slack. Uh, having Trello is nice. I find that I can get in here more quickly. Uh, and if it's top of mind, that's another part that is really handy for my workflow that I can now get in here and use this more quickly. Notion is a new one for me in the sense that I, I forget exactly when, probably in the fall, I started using Notion and have really uh, dove into it head first. Um, I'm using it both personally to create kind of my, my own, um, I guess, kind of a mix between a wiki and an operating system, as well as now with a small team. And we're putting together things like uh, email promotional calendar, um, uh, result tracking. Um, there's a lot you can do with databases. Um, you know, this isn't a Notion review, but this is nice that this is all inside of Shift. Uh, so I don't have to open up another app or I don't have to go anywhere. So having this here, again, is really nice. And then just show you one more. Um, you know, having Twitter in here is handy. And again, let's say we um, clicked on this. We wanted to find out more about this link from Otter. And again, you can see that the tabs are focused, which is really, really handy to have. I really like that. Now, there's been some other updates uh, that I, um, uh, well, let me pull up the right page here. Um, there's been some other updates that uh, I'll let uh, you figure out on your own when you go to shift.com if you want to check it out. 
I personally don't use them, so I can't give you an in-depth review of them, uh, but they are, um, it, they've implemented custom keyboard shortcuts, which is really cool. Um, I'm a fan of like simple uh, keyboard shortcuts in uh, Gmail for quickly archiving, going to the next emails, things like that. Uh, so that this isn't something that I've really taken advantage of, but I know some people like to set up their own workflows and have that, and uh, that can be uh, a big time saver if you're into that. And then another big update they've had is with the smart links. So this is where not only, you know, I showed a little bit of the links and how you can keep them um, uh, into one workflow, or like if you're in one Gmail account, you open a link, it opens in that tab. If you go somewhere else, it doesn't follow you around. That's great. But what they've also done now is create these smart links. So you can kind of say, hey, if I open a link in uh, Gmail, here's where I want it to open. Or, um, you know, if I'm in Notion and I click a link, do I want it to go to an external app? Do I want it to be in a web tab? Do I want it to be in here? Things like that. So I can see for certain applications that that would be really, really handy. So that's that, uh, my quick overview and re uh, review of Shift 4.0. Again, I know that this is, uh, to me, I'm smiling because it's fun. It's really um, divisive in a, in a neat sense that some people really gel with this type of workflow and having it all in kind of one container um, so that if, you know, they're not, like, let's say they want to um, focus on one thing at a time, they could perhaps minimize this and focus on that one thing. That's something I do at times. Um, I have an app installed where I just get a black screen in the background, so I just focus on the one thing in front of me. Uh, and other people don't. They want to keep uh, tabs. They want to keep things kind of uh, segmented and separated. And again, you know, there is, to me, no right or wrong answers. Whatever the tool is that gets you the results you want is the right answer for you. But if you're interested in checking out Shift, uh, you can find more in the description below. Check it out. Give it a shot and see how it works for you.